How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here with part one of Splatoon Online Matches. In this brand new series, we're going to go through, give you guys a tutorial of each of the weapons and attempt to go through each of the levels with some awesome pro Splatoon gameplay. So if you guys haven't seen my previous Splatoon videos, go check them out. I went through the entire one player mode and the Amiibo challenges. It was very awesome. So now it's time to get inked online in Turf Wars. So. Uh, like I said, on each level, we'll go through a different weapon. On today's episode, we're going to test out the Splattershot Jr. Uh, with a different range, uh, decent damage, fire rate's very good. Uh, the sub-weapon is a Splat Bomb, which is a grenade, and the special is a Bubbler. I love that one. Uh, so, the description for that is everyone's got to start somewhere. Good rate of fire, efficient ink use. To boot, not the most accurate of weapons, but it sprays ink so wildly that you're bound to hit something. Now, this is one of my favorite weapons in the game because it's pretty balanced, and I appreciate that. So, um, also on my head, I've got these pretty cool black arrow bands. Uh, the special is Tenacity Ink Saver Subweapon and Special Saver. Uh, we've got Bomb Range Up, Special Duration Up, and Special Saver. We've got Special Charge Up, Defense Up, and Special Saver again. So these are pretty defensive, I would say. Special saver is like knowing if you're going to get killed a lot. So unfortunately, I couldn't choose what these abilities were. So I need to get myself some better gear. That's really what it comes down to. All right, well, let's jump on into it. This is going to be very fun. So we're going to go to regular battle. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm at level 10 right now. I haven't tried rank battle. I'm going to probably do that maybe once I rank up to like level 20 or something like that. But the stages are going to be Arowana Mall and Port Mackerel. So let's jump on into it. If you guys are excited, definitely show your support by sharing this video with a friend. Um, and of course, clicking on that like button. It's going to be very good. So here we go. Uh, we're just waiting on a couple more people. Okay, it. it's battle time. It looks like we've got 10 people and we've got a lot of people at level 20. So that means that this is going to be a tough match. Uh, here we go. So this is Port Mackerel. I would say with this brand new level, um, it's very roller dependent. So people who choose rollers are going to naturally have the advantage. So we need to make sure that we've got our bases covered as best as we can. Wow. And as you guys can see, I'm going to stick around the back and just make sure that our turf area by our base is inked completely before moving out. Because that's one of the things that a lot of uh, Splatoon players don't realize is the fact that 9 times out of 10, your opposing enemies aren't going to come all the way over to this base. So this is just easy turf to fill up. Um, and at the same time, you'll be able to boost up your special uh, while waiting. Alright, so let's kind of wait around over here. Let's see what's up. Okay, we got some... Oh, we got a Kraken over here. He's probably got the Kraken roller. Okay, Kraken versus Kraken. Good, good. Good you. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Oh, he busted out his Kraken in order to help out. Okay, so there it looked like there was an Ink Strike right over there. Um, I don't necessarily see any guys. So, oh, here goes one. We'll toss a grenade on him. Oh, that's a Seeker. Wow, that Seeker almost got me. Good job. All right, put some pressure on them. Always put the pressure on the guys. Oh, go, oh, oh! I gotta retreat a little bit here. I'm gonna go after this dude. Okay, looks like my teammate's gonna take care of it. This is not bad. All right, here we go. I've got my bubbler in case I need it. There we go. So I thought I would need it. There we go, get that double kill right off the bat. I'm gonna go try to infiltrate them. Now it's very risky to infiltrate them when they're respawning. There's a guy right behind me, I see him. Or at least I feel his little ink splat coming after me. There we go, there we go, that's how we're doing it. Okay, so as you guys can see, I do have my special all the way back up again. Haven't died just yet and there's a minute left. So I'm going through and I'm inking their stuff. But at the same time, if there's a roller behind me, he's going to be able to ink all that stuff really well. All right, let's see. Looking at the map, um, it's it's anyone's game, really. Oh, that one's got a very, very far range of fire. There we go, Kraken. Get him. Kraken double kill for the win, baby. Get over here. Take some of this bubbler. Oh, man, I was going to say. Well, since there's about 26 seconds left, we've got to do our best to um, launch these guys. Oh, there we go. Right at the end. I couldn't turn around quick enough. But looking at the map, we're doing very good. 
And I've got a special prize if I do end up winning this match with these guys. All right, let's go. Eight seconds. Just cover up as much turf as you can, as much green as possible, and you'll be set. Okay, not bad. So if we win, I get to wear something, but this is anyone's game. We kind of lost it towards the end there. I don't know. Okay, we did it. Good job. Yes. All right, and since we won, let's see, how did I do? I'm very curious. 1162? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Level <laughs> first one. All right, I officially have earned the right to wear the Splatoon Squid. Yes. Oh, man, this is good. All right, so we're going to do three matches. And uh, hopefully I can keep the Splatoon crown because I am the hashtag King of Ink right here. So let me put my nappy dreads aside and let's battle again. This is going to be good. Uh, so yeah, I've earned this. And let's see if we can do it in the same two rounds. Hopefully I can get two more victories. Okay, now as you guys saw, um, this is one of my favorite levels right over here. Um, the efficient use of the bubbler. When going gets tough and you're about to get splatted, use the bubbler and then pretty much just make all of your, um, <laughs> all your enemies like, oh crap, I can't kill him. Thanks, good job. All right, so this is good. Um, this is pretty decent because I like going this route on Arowana Mall. Um, you can go right over here. This is pretty much where everyone fights for. Oh God, he's got very, very good range on that weapon. We just need to put the pressure on him, and I need to get over there somehow. Okay, he got his bubbler. He felt afraid. This one's feeling afraid, too. Alright, not bad. I think we could get him. Okay, got him. Prevented him from going. Now it looks like a pretty fine time to jump over there. But I'm afraid of that dude. But luckily I got very far grenades that can launch over there. There we go. Scared him with the grenades. Excellent. I can actually come over this way. Looks like someone infiltrated over here. Oh, wow. Someone did. Yikes. We can't give up our base. Looks like there's like an ink roller or someone with a splatter shot over here in our base. And I don't really want to waste time, like, uh, getting our base. Um, but... Do we have... Yeah, there's no one on their base, so we need to actually step up our game. We've been playing too defensive. So I need to get up there. Now this is a secret way to get to their base. Usually works out well, uh, unless someone's actually kind of hiding over here. And also spray right up top here, even though I can't reach this area. Oh God! Now I'm kind of stuck down here. Okay, good. That was a, an efficient use of the bubbler. As you guys can see, I got the two kills really quick. Even though they thought they had me. Now we got the pressure on them. We can easily come into their base area. Clean it up. I'm not really sure what's happening on the gamepad. Okay, uh, yeah, they've got a lot of our base. They, it looks like they've abandoned their base and they went over to get ours, which is not good. Considering the fact that I'm the only one cleaning up their stuff. So, I don't know what my teammates are doing, but... Oh, kill this guy. So right now, I just have to focus on covering as much orange as I can. Oh man, dude. I was like a lone soldier. Did you, were you guys watching the bottom screen? I was the only one cleaning up that area. So unfortunately, we lost as a team. Wah, wah. But I'm pretty sure I got first place on my team. 922. Yeah, I did. See, I was doing the work. What was Jim doing with zero points? Ugh. Dang it. All right. Well, the hat comes off. I did as much as I could. Okay, Squid, you're gonna, I'm gonna see you in the next one. Watch, we got one more time to, to repeat ourselves. So, there you have it, oh man. You guys saw the perfect use of the bubbler right when the going got tough, they, I felt that there was a guy that was near me, put the bubbler on and then just start attacking them. Um, 
if you ever come across someone with a bubbler, just keep the pressure on them because it kind of pushes them back a little bit. So yeah, keep that in mind whenever you're playing. Man, this is a very good like setup because it's balanced. You can actually go through and um, and like shoot a lot of stuff with it. Okay, it looks like Mr. AGZ is in the house. That's pretty cool. I like that. Hopefully he's on my team. Okay, arrow on a mall. Um, like I said, I wish there was voice chat so I could be like, look, take care of our base. All right, Mr. AGZ is on the opposite side. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'm going to allow them to go over there. I'm going to try to cover up our base a little bit here. Just any spots that we haven't covered, I'll take care of it. I don't mind doing that because we need to. As a team, we need to make sure our entire base is covered. Up until at least I say low ink. You know, oh my god. Was this a Kraken that just kind of went through here? Okay, well he got splatted. I kind of felt them coming all the way over to our base. I'm like, wait a second. I saw some orange and I'm like, holy cow. I need that bubbler back, man. Alright, let's get up here. Okay, I see them. Here we go. Yeah, I got that one. Okay, that's good. Alright, here we go. Now I can easily uh, squid jump over that away. I'm going to go into their secret area really quick. Actually, this is our secret path. Looks like it got covered. Alright, no bad, not bad, not bad. Good for them. Okay, there's another dude over here. Yep. Sweet. We own this area. Okay, someone's going to actually come right over near me. It's always good to spray up here like I talked to you guys. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to stay over here for now. Just kind of uh, take a look. Oh, man. That guy owned those two dudes. Good job. All right. Will I be able to... <laughs> Splattered Mr. Ejeezy, nice. He's gonna enjoy that if he's watching. One minute left. Okay, so we own that. We own this. The only spots where we don't own is right over this way. You know what? I'm just gonna put the pressure on these guys. There we go. Again, with the twofer, let's put the pressure on him. Oh god, that Seeker. You guys want some of this? Come here. I'll take both you guys. Let's go. This is called putting the pressure on their base so that the rest of the team can just ink away. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man, see I was putting the pressure on those three guys. So hopefully the rest of my team were able to do the work Oh, yes, okay. Well the verdict is in let's see how I ranked hopefully first place Not bad 1357 yes Okay, well we officially get to wear the king of ink squid hat and this is awesome. I love it. All right, well, the, well, that was three levels. Uh, we tried a little bit of the, um, what is that? We did both the levels, Arowana Mall and Port Mackerel. We were showing off the awesomeness that is the Splatter Shot. Um, as you guys can see right over here, the Splatter Shot Jr., one of my favorite beginning weapons, simply because it's got the bubbler, it's got a decent fire rate, and if you got some pretty good equips on your weaponry, you'll be set to go. So thank you guys so much for watching. By all means, tune in next time where uh, we'll see if we can continue wearing the King of Ink crown that is the awesome little Splatoon hat. So yes, it's going to be great. If you enjoyed the episode, definitely smash that like button and uh, subscribe for even more. There's loads of Splatoon content on my channel and I don't want you guys to miss it. It's going to be great. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys on the next episode of Splatoon Online Matches, baby. Woohoo! Yeah, look, check out these nappy dreads. These are so cool. <laughs> All right, guys, take care.